Welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for coming. I want to thank you for watching my videos. Today, I'm going to react to a song called Wren, Do You Believe? I know this is an old song. It's been out a long time. But it was requested by one of my viewers, Judy Showmaker. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Judy, if I mispronounce your name, please forgive me. But Judy asked me to react to this song, and so I'm going to do that. And this will be perhaps a diversion from all the junk that I usually talk about. <laughs> all, this, all the stuff going on in the country and the world. I want to thank every one of you that comes to my channel, that views my videos, that likes them, that comments on them, that shares them. I want to thank you especially if you subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate that. I know it's a small percentage of the people that watch my videos, but I appreciate every single one of you that does. So, we're going to watch, as I said, Dak, Dax, uh, excuse me, Wren, singing Do You Believe? That's not Wren. It's an interesting picture. Do you believe it's morning? I'm alive, but that's the last thing on my mind. Dear future self, I hope you're in good health I'm writing cause I'm frightened, I've been fighting with myself I wake up in the morning, rain is pouring But I don't mean outside, I mean a storm is roaring In the corners deep in my mind And I've been fun of my friends for advice to break the ice How are you? Yeah, I'm nice Actually, I'm fucking sore inside I'm borderline suicide But I'm really trying to try and shine In this dark, dark life of mine The film life of... Hmm. You know... Wren's... Ren's music is, in some respects, you could say it's depressing, but it's the reality of what he has to live with. And I know that this was made, I think she said, eight years ago. And eight years ago, he was really struggling physically. And physical struggles can affect the mind tremendously. You can get to the point where you don't really care about living anymore. It can get that difficult. You can get to the point where you actually want to die because it, it's so painful and, and so persistent and consistent and it, it just it, it drives every pore of your being. I just can't imagine what he's been through. It's it's certainly not a battle I would want to have to fight and yet he keeps producing art while he's suffering Brian, I watched it 50 times Because I'm always searching for the brighter side of life and maybe one day those thoughts will pay off but till then my future self I'm <laughs> and that maybe explains why Ren has been so successful he's always searching for the brighter side of life Despite the rain, despite the pain, despite all the things he's been through, he continues to fight for the brighter things. Hmm. Feeling lost, huh? Do you believe it's morning? I'm alive, but that's the last thing on my mind. Do you believe it's morning? I'm alive. It's interesting if you think about <clears throat> how this was made. They have a, a line drawing of a, a young girl and a 
apparently a pane of glass in front of her and they're pouring water over it and the water keeps coming over her eyes like she's crying and the look on her face is like she's looking up and she's looking toward something that's out in front of her I think maybe that's something that Ren's trying to communicate in that picture. That's the last thing on my mind. Dear future self, why am I unwell? Will I ever find a way to climb right out this hell? Will I ever find a way to leave my demons? Find the breath to keep me breathing? Find the hope to keep believing? Find a way out? Huh? Cause something funny happens when you're always sick When you wake up every day praying that they might be it That you might turn a corner into life or into death Cause you hate that state of limbo, cause you hate that state of stress And many lessons I have learned being burned by the fires of depression As they scorch up my earth I have learned that I'm stronger than I ever thought I was Cause I'm still here and breathing, my heart's beating blood But I'm a paradox, I feel so alone yet <laughs> So Through it all, he still maintains a positive attitude. He still looks forward to the future and he still fights through the pain to get to something better and he keeps wondering each day if today is the day when I'll get that better. That's, a, that's an attitude towards life that will take you a long way. I isolate myself, it's no one's fault but my own heart is broken Cause of the friends that I've had who have died Heart is broken cause I've been sick for a third of my life Heart is broken cause we live on a planet that values money more than lives And we're damaging that planet that we... <laughs> and <clears throat> think about this for a minute Ren... <clears throat> the, the central focus of his life could be the disease that he's battling. For some people it would be. It would be the single focus of their life. But Wren looks so far outside himself that he's disturbed by the greed of mankind and by the way we treat our planet. Think about that for a minute. That's a whole nother level of concern for things outside yourself while he's battling with something that is literally trying to destroy him and literally could consume his every moment if he allowed it to and yet he refuses to allow it to and he keeps pushing forward he keeps writing music he's an incredible man To survive, my broken heart it breaks every time I feel the breaks on my brain when it aches. Bringing the breezes back to faith, feeding my demons while they wait. Ask my angels why for sake, have faith. Take away this pain in my brain and bring the rain, rain on my soul. Future self, could you pull me out this hole? Do you believe it's morning? I'm alive, but that's the last thing on my mind. I like the beat. It's like steady, constant, just like his disease, unrelenting, always in the background, ever present. The layers of his music are fascinating. Morning, I'm alive, but that's the last thing on my mind. Do you believe it's morning? I'm alive, but that's the last thing on my mind. Do you believe it's morning? I'm alive, that's the last thing. Sorry about that interruption. Ma, 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 ma.
fascinating. There's so much complexity to this that it strikes me that I mean if if you if you understand anything at all about diseases that cause your body to be in pain it really literally can consume you it can it can consume every moment of your waking life and make you wish it would go away and and get you to the point where that's all you think about and it's really it really takes an act of the will to push through that and go I don't care how much I hurt. I'm still going to think about the future. I'm still going to think about the planet. I'm still going to think about things that matter in life. I'm still going to think about the day that will come, that I believe will come, when this pain will be gone. That's not easy to do. That, that takes a strength of will that many people do not have. And there are people who have been in similar situations to Ren who have taken their lives, who've just said, I've had enough, I'm done, I don't want this anymore. What do we call that when, when someone wants to die? What do we call that? I can't remember. Darn it. Not suicide, but, um, oh gosh. Elective death, I guess you call it. I can't remember the, ter I can't remember the phrase right off the top of my head. It'll probably come to me after I finish this video. But, you know, we, we have this thing in, in present day society where we talk about how some people should be allowed to take their own lives or get assistance in taking their life because they're at what they believe is the end of it. And perhaps if Ren was in his 80s, he might, he might actually like that path, but he's not and he hasn't. Instead, he's chosen to push through, to still create music, to, to still, still create his art and to continue to look toward the future, the day when all this pain will be gone. And you know, it's funny in life because a lot of times you have situations that you go through and after they're over and you look back on them and you realize that it wasn't quite as difficult as you thought it was at the time. And you realize how blessed you are now because you're through it. But while you're in the midst of it, you can't, it's difficult to see that. You really have to fight in your head. You're, you have to have a strong will to be able to fight through that and still see the good and still see, uh, still see that, that, uh, that there is a future ahead and that the future is bright. And that's what, that's what Ren is doing in this song, in my opinion. Uh, you may think differently, and if you do, feel free to express your thoughts in the comments. But <clears throat> Judy, thank you for asking me to review this song. I'm, I'm glad you did. I really, I find it very thought-provoking. As always, for you, my viewers... I pray that you will be abundant in your life, that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long life and that God will keep you safe from harm. And I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. I pray this daily. And I also pray every day that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you will let your request be known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet, out.